What's up, gangsters? It's a pen gangster here, and I got a new pen in the mail today. But first, you might notice something a little different about my background. This is the actual background that I am in. I usually put up a green screen just to, I don't want to draw anybody's attention away from the pen, but the reason why I don't have a green screen up for this video is because the pen that I have received in particular is a Paniter Avatar UR. And the pen is the new forest green color. So as you can imagine with a green screen, you won't be able to see the pen. Here's the, the box that comes in, here's the Paniter box. It's green and of course you wouldn't be able to see that. It's a cardboard box and at the very top it has the Paniter logo embossed in it. Take off that lid. And inside is the pen. Of course it has some literature with it. Take that out and there's the pen. So pretty. So it's actually a pretty simple presentation as opposed to a presentation they used to give, which was the little box that looked like a desktop and it came with the stationary samples. Although I will admit, I do miss the stationary samples coming with these because I looked forward to that. But I do understand this is probably a little more economical for that company. And you can still get that little desk box and the stationary with their higher priced pens. Here's a look at the pen outside of the box. Such beautiful attention to detail. It's got the spring-loaded clip. The clip is also a beautiful representation of a quilt. It's a quill. And I believe Dante De Vecchio is probably referencing writing of the past when people wrote with feathered quills. And I think it's a beautiful addition to the pen. It looks really nice. Really? What? There are buildings around this cap and also the brand name Paniter. And these buildings are meant to represent the skyline of Florence. So pull off that cap. It is also magnetic. I ended up getting a medium nib and it does have a metal section with a bit of a flare here, probably to help guide your fingers uh, along this. Uh, the pen can also be capped. It is not magnetic like the La Beleza Grande. Gosh, I hope I said that right. Uh, but it is a friction post and it does stay on rather well. It's actually a beautiful pen. I think this color is really awesome. Really, a really great color for spring, since it is springtime. At the end, there's also this silver bulb-like part, but it does match with silver uh, trim around the pen. Paniter pens also come with a converter. Isn't that awesome? All the Paniter avatars were designed by famous Italian designer Dante De Vecchio. And you might look at this pen and especially with some of the details on stop. Some of the details on it are really kind of as hallmarks, like the uh, the spring loaded clip, um, the little the feather. Uh, we see that in some of his other uh, pens. So, but I think he did a really magnificent job with this pen. The really cool thing about Paniter pens, or this particular Paniter pen, the Paniter UR pen, when it was created, it uses absolutely no glue. And so a lot of these pieces, I, I guess they're put together using friction and just certain little special, I don't know. But I've had other Paniter pens in the past that when the cap is on, this tends to spin, but I think they fixed that problem. So it doesn't spin around or anything. And I mean, this is a really solid pen, really nice. I'm very impressed with it. And now I can't wait to ink this pen up and start writing with it. Me either. Next, I'm gonna ink up this gorgeous pen. And today I've selected the ink of Twisby Emerald Green, which on an ink swatch, it perfectly matches this pen. So let's go ahead and get this thing inked up and then I'm gonna do a writing sample.
thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a little bit more about the Paniter pen. And I do encourage you to go over to Pen Chalet and check it out. That's where I got mine. And I tell you, Pen Chalet, they ship really fast. So I ordered this day before yesterday and here it is. So I'm telling you, be sure to maintain that social distancing. I'm serious. You don't want people that close to you these days. It's getting nasty out there. Take care of your family. And thanks again for watching. Take care.